I want you to just share how, how the anointing hit you as we were praying. Tell me how that anointing hit you. You don't give your name because that's not, that's not what we're trying to do with people. Okay. We're just trying to testify about how the power of God began to break things without using your name. Tell me how your deliverance session went. Go ahead. My deliverance session went well. I felt the world and the nervousness that I always feel. And it seemed like he grabbed the spirit and just pulled them out slowly. Pulled them out in a strong, powerful way that just cleared my throat. It just cleared my mind. I felt dizzy, then it went away. Like, I feel light. I feel ready to run the race that God has for me. I feel good. I feel like just praising God because it's nothing like the deliverance. Some people can bring you real true deliverance so you can run your race. Because, you know, God's yoke is enough for me. The life for God, I just want to glorify Him with my body. And it's hard to do that when you're beat down and you're bound and you're followed around and harassed all the time. So it just felt like a lightning. Now, I did, I, notice, I did notice, woman of God, without going too deep into your, your private business, that the Lord began, I began to command things from a, a spiritual stronghold that was attached to a vision you saw of a green-eyed type of demon that had a ring. And as we were praying and commanding that spirit to be broken, there was a stronghold in your family line. You don't need to say no names about who, but it was a stronghold in your family line where a relative had an affair with another person who actually cursed, put a curse on your relative, and uh, if you begin to find things affecting relationships in your life, as we were breaking that, how, how was that experience as we were commanding those demons to break? It felt a relief because I kept blaming myself for the things that had happened. But when you broke that, I felt relieved. I felt like that's not my fault. There's nothing I can do but move forward instead of keep going back and being like kind of uneasy about it and questioning and stuff. And it, it just feels like my mind is no longer cloudy. It felt cloudy like, well, what can I do better? Did I do something wrong? It's like that feeling went away. Thank God. Also, I, I, I hit an area, another area. I was telling you about the Bible said, out of our belly shall flow rivers of living water. When you would begin to try to prophesy and speak the word of the Lord, it was like from your stomach up, you couldn't get the words out. You said sometimes well, you had to write them down. or you, how, how did you have to do? I begin, I will say this to the listeners, I begin to command the spirits of Python, demonic powers that were trying to hinder her from flowing in the Holy Ghost. And the way I attacked them in you, woman of God, was I command the occult spirits in your family line to loose you and get out of the way. And, I, and the Holy Ghost pushed them out of the way and broke through. How was that? How did your stomach feel when the anointing hit you and that began to start breaking up? And once again, I commanded a cold spirit that was trying to hinder her from yielding to the Holy Spirit. These demons cannot stop the gifts of the spirit, but they try to bind the person so they're unable to speak, prophesy, or flow in the anointing. How did you feel when I began to command those devils of occult spirits in your family line to loose that area? And how does your stomach feel now? Could you hear that? At first, I felt like bloated, heavy, and tired. But now, like, I can literally see a difference in my stomach. It's the weirdest thing. Like, it's just, like, tighter. It's tighter. It looks like it's firm. It doesn't feel heavy. My God. Oh, oh, that, that, I, I, oh, your stomach, actually, th when I commanded that stronghold, those spirits to come out of that <laughs> area, your stomach literally and physically went down. Yes, yeah, literally, like. Right. All right, we're going to get ready to, to close out this testimony, but I want you to take time and just give Jesus the praise. Give the Lord the glory for your deliverance session. Take that moment and just, just give it to him. Lord, I thank you and I praise you for all that you've done for me and everything that you are and will be. You are the beginning and the end, the alpha, the omega, Lord. I just thank you. I praise you. You've been my mother. You've been my father. You've been my way out of no way. You've delivered me and my finances. You've delivered my family. You've tweaked my womb. Now you've made it a healthy womb. You've made it healthy for my kids. You've tweaked my bloodline. You've made it clean. you made it pure. And I thank you, God. Amazing, God. Thank you. Thank you.
Amen. Well, I always say to everybody that the Lord will not share his glory with anyone. There's only one deliverer on the planet, and his name is Jesus. We give him all the praise. Well, look, God bless you, woman of God. Thanks for calling for an end and what have you, and we're glad that God moved mightily. God bless you. You have a blessed day, okay? Okay, thank you. All right, bye-bye.